Hi everyone, Judah and Hillel here to walk you through getting started with RavenDB. By the end of this video, you'll know how to get RavenDB running on your local machine, and you'll know how to create a database and put stuff in that database using Raven Management Studio. The way we're going to do this is first we're going to download RavenDB, and we're going to extract the contents of that and show you what's inside, and show you what to do once you've downloaded it. Then we're going to show you how to create a document using Raven's Management Studio. Let's get started. Go to ravendb.net and on the home page of the site, you'll see the big download button on the top of the screen. Go ahead and click that button. Here on the download page, you'll see a form in the center. We're going to fill that form out with our information. And once it's filled out, we can download RavenDB. You'll notice we can download either an installer or a zip. And in this video, we're going to download the zip. The zip file contains not only RavenDB, but also some .NET client libraries, as well as some tooling to help with backups and maintenance. Once the zip file is downloaded and extracted, the easiest way to get started is to simply run the start.cmd file. This command file will launch RavenDB as a console app. And will also open RavenDB's Management Studio in the browser. So you can see it's here at the bottom. We'll double click that. And now it's launched both RavenDB and the Management Studio. RavenDB's Management Studio is an HTML5 app that lets you create databases and manage the documents inside those databases. So let's create our first database. We'll make sure the resource type is set to database. And then we'll type in a name for our database. We'll use SampleDB. And then we'll click the Create button here at the bottom. After a moment, your database will be created, and it'll show up here in the Studio Resources list. So you can see it's here in the top left. Now, we want to go to that database, so to do that, click the name. And now you can see we're looking at the documents in the database that we just created. And as you can see, there are no documents yet, so let's go ahead and create one now. To create a new document, you'll click the orange New Document button at the top. Go ahead and click that. Now we're on the New Document page, and on this page you'll notice a text box near the top of the screen here, and this is where we put in the ID of the document. By convention, RavenDB uses strings as ID in the form of entity name slash number. So for this first document, we're going to give it an ID of item slash one. And underneath here in the larger area, this is where we put the actual JSON document where all the data of your objects goes. So we're going to give this guy a name of John. And we'll add another property underneath that and call that one age. Now we're ready to save the document. To save the document, we click this orange save button. Congratulations. You just created your first document in RavenDB. Let's go back to the Documents view and have a look at our newly created document. There's our document. We'll click its ID, and that'll take us back to where we can view and edit the document. Now that you know how to run RavenDB and create databases and documents, this concludes our video. Thanks for watching.